Hey, what's up everybody? As you probably noticed, we are doing a series on the E50, uh, I'm sorry, the E Fresnel 50 and the E Ellipsoidal 50. And one thing I want to help people understand is the best way to utilize these barn doors uh, on a Fresnel. Uh, the, the nice thing with the E50 uh, Fresnel is you can actually zoom it in. We're going to turn this around here so you can see that. Oh my goodness, there we go. So you can actually zoom it in here. And uh, this is going to give you um, a 50 degree if you widen it all the way out. We can open this up. I don't know if you're really gonna be able to see much. But a 50 degree on a Fresnel like that um, is pretty intense. It gets a really good light, but the thing with when you zoom it out, what you're more worried about is how much of the space is being used. Uh, so how much space are you actually filling with that 50 degree? Now, as we zoom it in here, you're going to notice that the light tightens up a little bit. And now we're at 17. So you can see the intensity of the light actually right over there on that group of stuff. Um, because that's obviously where the light is, is pointing and shooting. So as we widen that up, you're going to see it's not as intense there because what's happening is the light is actually being more dispersed as opposed to being focused into one area. Again, in one of the other videos, you heard me talking about or using the analogy of um, ants and a magnifying glass. So when you are actually focusing in, um, when you're focusing in on a beam, what's actually happening is you're bending the light or you're steering the light into a very intense direction. So the tighter the beam, the brighter the light's gonna be. So when you see people that are asking for 19 degree barrels um, or 25 degree barrels, they want more of a intense beam because they're probably shooting at a further distance and they need A, that, uh, that distance of spread on the beam to be less and they also need the intensity of the light so it travels all the way across as opposed to using like a 50 degree. So those are some of the big things. Now, if you look at the lenses, um, I talked about the lens a little bit and I'm gonna leave it on before I had it off in one of the other videos, but the lens is actually almost like a frosted lens. So that way, again, the light becomes softer and it always becomes a soft edge. Now, if it was a, uh, if it was a direct or a, um, a clear lens, it's going to give you, it, it, you're probably actually gonna see the bulb showing up on the, uh, on the screen or whatever object you're doing. So by frosting this or by creating that texture filter over the top of it, what it's doing is it's actually kind of breaking the light up a little bit to soften it up. Now, the nice thing with these um, barn doors is it gives you the opportunity to really, you know, kind of create the space you're looking for, uh, giving you really good quality in, uh, in edging. Um, and with an ellipsoidal, we talked about with the ellipsoidals, you're actually using these framing blades to kind of create or to manage your lighting on your space um, where these barn doors really become what's, uh, what's kind of creating the framing um, that you're looking for. Now what I'm gonna show you is, now as you notice, the camera is over on the side here and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use these barn doors to cut out so you're not getting the glare from the lens. So the light is still illuminating where it needs to on the screen, which is coming out this direction. But by using this, by using this barn door, what it did is it took out all the glare. Now, when I open up the, the barn door again, you're gonna notice it's gonna kind of wash out the, uh, the camera and it's not going to give you the light that you need of say what's going on in the background or what's going on in the foreground. So you can see it washes out over here and you don't get the, the, the colors that you need. So it's no different than if I just put my hand over there but these are specific for that reason. So you don't have any camera issues. Um, if, you're doing any, if you're doing any live video, if you're doing any filming, uh, we actually get a lot of videographers that are just kind of like, wow, you know, we really, we really appreciate the fact that you have nice, nice warm, nice natural light, and uh, it, doesn't, you know, it doesn't reflect on our cameras, and it doesn't cause problems. Now, when some people are trying to create lens flares, you need to communicate on that, make sure that that A, you're using the right light because this doesn't really create lens flares. All it does is really wash your camera out. Uh, lens flares are gonna be more like a focal beam 
you're going to get a better lens flare as opposed to a wash. So if you guys have questions on any of this using barn doors with the EVE F50Z, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer any questions. You know, the best applications for this, best way to hang these, best aiming positions, whatever it is, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, this is DJ Jer with Shop Time. Make sure you message down below if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.